and Q. See, now you're sharing this girl Courtney and I am back again with another reaction video. And in this reaction video today, I am reacting to Meek Mill, Other Side of America. It's the audio, not the video. So hopefully this song sounds fire, but I already know it's going to be fire because Meek Mill dropped nothing but fire music in my opinion. But anyways, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Let me know y'all thoughts. And also before we get into this video, if you haven't, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe for good vibes. Hit that bell, turn on my post notifications so that you won't miss a single video. Also make sure that y'all follow me on my social media, which will be in the description down below. So make sure y'all check the out on there. And let's get right into this video, y'all. Why do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. 58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? We'll pull a lap on the other side of America. Mama let me sip the 40. I was just a shorty. Yeah. Then I started spitting garlic, and they said, record me. Man. I feel like this shit was for me. This shit is my story. Facts. Yeah. Uh. Jump out the porch. Uh. I got a porch, I'ma take it back. I'm on the block with the killers and hoe at my own, of course. Yeah. I see my mom and dad separate, ain't talking divorce. Said so daddy was living by the fire, and he died by the torch. I'm with the eight cases, we like the baby bay kids. Ain't ever daddy, I listen to the suckers the same with that Ray Ray D. I'm talking snitches and eight cases, and I just was a great eight kid. Ain't on no guy, and we grew up with hitters and did everything they said. Point out the block, we spinning that. Running the spot, we getting that. Give us some work, we flipping that. I'm hitting from Jedi, ain't hitting back. Basically, how he putting it, Donald Trump was making a little statement at the beginning of the video. Now he's telling his story. And the story is how he grew up. He had to do this and do that to make it in life. Now look at him. Like, he on top, but you will never forget what you went through when you was young. You will never forget how you got to the point to where you got to today. And that's how you're trying to put it. Yeah, we, were, we are living like this in this world. And this is how y'all view us. But listen, we can do anything to make ourselves come up. But y'all gonna hate regardless. Like Donald Trump, you are the president. And you sit here and talk about black people like we are nothing. And that's the bad thing. That's why people hating this man so much. Like if you would just give us credit for being us. And not for where we come from and how we live it. Hey, maybe some people will like you. If you would just do the right thing as a president, people will like you. But you done messed that up already. But anyways, you got to do what you got to do to come up to get to where you're trying to go in life. And that's just that. Myself, like when I get out, I'm making a movie, no cinemax. Who? Yeah. Back home and I'm fresh on bell. Phone chirping, it was next to tell. Block popping, it was extra sell. Big dog, they ain't showing remorse. I was begging just to catch a sell. Same block, we was going to war. I was praying I ain't catch a shell. Yeah. Ooh. We ain't starving for a thousand nights Living like we trying to die tonight Got 40 sound like dynamite I was fucking out my cop money Selling soap like it's shining white OG said you fucking a block up I was mad I was trying to fight Nigga we home Mommy at work, daddy he dead Nigga we home Stomach growling like an AMG Going to bed, we home Uzi on me, all my friends are dead Nigga we home We're pulling live from the other side of America Pulling live from the other side yeah. Same corner where my brothers die yeah. Living like we ain't got care Told my mama I ain't dying here no. 40 on me, I ain't buying beer no. Ain't have a wheel, now I'm flying Lear Bunch of fellas on the jab with me Make a movie like Sky Air Started off in the basement Now it's rooftops in LeBron there Still fighting over cases I don't bail, nigga, but it's my year Summertime, make it cold out Heat on me like a mind clear Closet bigger than my old house Thinking about it, I was fine there Came in the dirt Dedicated, I was making it work Medicated, I was taking them perks Devastated when my niggas got murked First, I knew trapping it'd give me a jail. Playing with pistols it'd give me a hearse. But I ain't give a fuck. Send me to church. Ooh, yeah, they gotta catch me in traffic. Listen, it's a crazy thing how you put that. But it's like, this is real life situations. He knew carrying a gun could get him put in a hearse. He knew selling those drugs can get him put in jail or either killed. But you gotta do what you gotta do to make a living off anything you can make a living off of. People do any and everything to make a living. At least they work and trying to make a living. Sometimes it may be the right way. Sometimes it may be the wrong way. But hey, they doing something with themselves. They trying to at least put some money in their pocket and feed their family. Other people will just sit around and wait. But hey, people view us as thugs, gangsters, all this just because we're trying to find a way to eat. But you got to do something. Nobody's going to help you put nothing on your back. No clothes on your back. No shoes on your feet. 
So Meek Mill and y'all know this is what he went through. And people are still viewing him as this person because this is who he was back then. Nobody wants to give you credit for what you're doing now, to be honest. But it's like, you're going to give me credit one way or another because you're going to see what I'm doing. And you're going to be like, dang, he really came from this, but now he this. And that's just that. Yeah, they got to catch me in traffic. Yeah. I ain't with none of this rash. I've been trying to run from these caskets. Yeah. All of this pain, but then me, nigga, you don't want none of this action. Yeah. Go get some money and feed your fam, because this is a fucking disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We ain't starting for a thousand nights Living like we trying to die tonight Got 40 sound like dynamite I was fucking out my cop money Selling soap like it's shining white OG said you fucking a block up I was mad, I was trying to fight Nigga, we home Mommy at work, daddy he dead Nigga, we home Stomach growling like an MG Going to bed, we home Uzi on me, all my friends are dead Nigga, we home We're pulling live on the other side of America I always dream to of being like on like CNN And being able to express myself and and, and speak for like Do the it. voiceless young men of, uh, of America. The first step I would say, I grew up in America in a ruthless neighborhood where we are not protected by police. Uh, we grew up in ruthless environments. We grew up around murder. You see murder. You see seven people die a week. I think you would probably carry a gun yourself. Would you? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Okay, y'all, that is the end of that video. Overall, I really missed this video. McMill putting his like personal type life out because this is something he experienced when he was younger. This is what he had to do when he was younger to make a living basically because some people see us, they won't give black people jobs. So you gotta find some type of way in your hood to make a living. Whether it's doing this or doing that, at least you making some type of money. But listen, when you're doing that, I feel like that we all can be something great without doing those things that people think we always do in life. But regardless of what we do in life, people will always look at us like, these are nobodies. They don't belong here. They don't belong at this job doing this. So if you're making money in life and somebody who's racist see that, they gonna hate regardless. They don't want to see these black people out here making money and doing it the right way. When you do it the right way, they gonna hate even more. When you're doing it the wrong way, they gonna hate too. So you might as well make some type of living. But me, he made a good valid point at the end of the song when he came on and he said that Police do not protect those type of hoods that we are in. Black people community, police really do not protect. They come in the community and just act like we are nobodies. They really don't do too much. But listen, if you out on the street and you selling drugs, what they gonna do? If you out on the street and you have a gun, what they gonna do? Let that soak in. They not really protecting us. They want us to fear them. And that's a bad thing because y'all supposed to be the ones out here protecting us. But y'all not. Y'all killing us. He did his thing with that Uzi verse. I really messed that verse right there. But anyways, y'all, that's my opinion on his song. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Let me know if y'all vibe to Meek Mill or not. And also, if you haven't, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe for good vibes. Hit that bell. Turn on my post notifications so that you won't miss a single video. Also, make sure that y'all follow me on my social media, which will be in the description down below. So make sure y'all go check that out over there. And also, if you're YouTube and you're in Mississippi and you want to collab, hit me up. Let's work. Let's collab. Let's do some videos, y'all. And make sure that y'all comment in the comment section down below. Any other reactions y'all like to react to, and I'll get back to y'all those reactions. And I am